Oh, you're recording? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the second episode of the CT Vlogs. Uh, thanks for the response on the first one. A lot of you guys seem to like it. So I thought we'll, we'll do some more. This, uh, this episode is going to be of me working on the Clio and kind of bringing it up to my spec that I want it. You're going to see me change a lot uh, in terms of clothes uh, over the next few minutes because I did lots of stuff on different days. So you'll catch up with this Edwin about halfway through the video. But right now, uh, it's a very cold night and we're going to try and put the um, Cobra Nagaros in. But first, if you look behind you, Jake, is, Jake has acquired some wheels. They're a secret for now until that episode comes out. I'm going to blur that. They're not going to be able to see anything. We're going to put, put like a... I'll put just a... Go I'll put a face on it. Put Alex's face on it. There goes your life. You, no, no, you really can't see it. <laughs> I steal the show. All right, thanks, Edward. That's <laughs> that. So thanks for handing over. Uh, <laughs> Firstly, though, before we start, uh, pretty much all of the comments, not just the top comment, but all of the comments were about the alphas. And as a few of you guessed correctly, they're not mine, they're my dad's. And so I didn't really want to talk about them because I only want to talk about the things I'm responsible for. But seeing as so many of you asked, we'll do a quick run through. Um, he's a lot like me in that he kind of buys shit cars, does them up, and then sells them on or keeps them if he likes them. And so over the years, he's built up a kind of cool collection that's worth a lot more than my shit boxes. So firstly, up on the top, this is a Alpha 2600. Cool looking car, Baranis, which are, if you don't know, on Alphas, they are like, for Alphas and Ferraris and sort of old Italian cars, they make a car worth a lot more. And so we managed to find a set of Baranis and, and stuck them on this. Next to it is the car that a lot of you would have seen on that day, on that last vlog, which is an a Alpha Montreal. This is a, I think this, this one's a 72. Um, and so, for those of you that don't know, it was technically the only ever uh, V8 Alfa Romeo until the 8C came out. And so it had an engine derived from the Alfa 33 Stradale, which meant that it's kind of bonkers and never works. It had a completely weird uh, type of fuel injection for the time, had all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, Gandini design, looks a lot like the Miura. A very cool car. Um, but as with any alpha, it doesn't work. Moving over here, across, uh, across from the Montreal. This is a Alfa Romeo 2000 Touring. So very much like the uh, 2000 up there. Well, if you pan, you can make now see what that looks like. Very cool looking thing. Uh, you know, touring, touring body looks a lot like the old older 60s Ferraris, Maserati, Vignales, that sort of thing. This is the same body style. A few differences with stuff like the uh, slats on the side and the bonnet vent um, for European versus American, but that's all boring we'll stuff. That. We'll get we'll get past that. But this um, was dragged pretty much out of a swamp five or six years ago, maybe. And so this has been something we've been working on and restoring for quite a while now. This is kind of his favorite car. Um, so a lot of work still to be done on this, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, cool, cool car i mean it's not my sort of thing but i can appreciate it this is an alpha duetto uh so a spider 1750 we used to live in south africa and there was a few out there while we were living there that were quite cheap so we picked one up and brought it home uh when we moved back so little alpha spider cool looking thing again doesn't work we're three for three on uh, three for four on not working alphas and over here is you're not gonna be able to see it very well one of you guessed very close in the comments. One of you said it was an SZ. Close. SZs only ever came with SZs was the coupe, only ever came in red. RZs came in black, red, and yellow. So this is a Roadster. Um, absolutely odd looking thing. Just a strange looking car. But um, yeah, we picked up a, a few years ago and it's one of the cars that was built before receivership. So those are kind of considered the true RZs. Um, but yes. Enough rambling about alphas. Let's do some work on a Clio, but hopefully that clears some things up for you if you are asking questions about the alphas. You won't see that much work on them because we're always working on them in the background. But yeah, anyway, switch over. First things first is wheels. Now on 182s, there's many options, but there is only one correct answer. And the correct answer, as anybody will know, is Speedline Torinis. Speedline Torinis are just the best wheel for a 182 and you'll you'll see that if you aren't aware of that you'll see that by the end of the episode
Look at that. What a difference that makes. I think Torini is definitely the right, right choice. They just make it look a lot more smart. A bit more grown up. Anyway, on to the next mods. Who are you? I'm Will. <laughs> and? And we're going to make this clear a little bit more ricey than it already is. Shut up. Take the camera. Right, so that's that's my friend Will. He's just helping us quickly film some stuff. But while we're on a lunch break, uh, one of the parts came in that I've been wanting to fit to the clear for a while, which is the KTR intake. Now, I ordered a black KTR intake, black silicon, but they didn't have any in stock. So I quickly found a used one. The only back draw, drawback to it is that it's blue silicon, which should never be anywhere in any engine bay, ever. If you think otherwise, fight me. So, should be a quick job. We're gonna quickly stick it in. We've done some before videos of how it sounds. We'll do some after videos after we're done and then put them together so you can listen to why it is the best mod you can make on one of these things. Um, so quickly, let's, let's quickly stick it in. What's that, 10? 10 and 12. 10? Nah. That's a 12. Nah. Can we just talk about the disgustingness of this? Be, be quiet. That is disgusting. I don't want it either. Just, it's for now. Right. With that 12 on it. Okay, 12. Is it a 12? Oh, strange that, that it's not a 12. What about, right, I don't know. An 11. Maybe let's try a 10 mil. Does a 10 mil fit? Oh, a 10 mil fits! What do you think it's going to sound like? Rice. Oh, 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 This is genuinely that scene in Austin Powers. We've got too many cars in here, man. There he goes. As someone who is skeptical at the beginning. I'm not skeptical, I'm skeptical of the colour of it. And I was right. Next up, the seats. Now, I bought these for the MX-5 about a year ago. Uh, my plan was to recover them in tan leather so that they match the interior. Uh, and that's still the plan. These still will go in and I'll get them uh, recovered and they should look really cool. 
However, for the meantime, with the MX-5s being pushed off a bit, I thought I'd stick them in here because, you know, who else, who doesn't want bucket seats in their daily? So, we'll stick these in, see how they look. I've got some low-mount subframes, so stick them in. Four knots, two little connectors, and it's out. Good. Now they're only held down with two bolts, so that's why they're a bit creaky. But um, yeah, as you can see, this position might be correct for someone in their 90s, but uh, it's not correct for me. Um, I need to be about seven or eight hundred meters further away from the wheel to be comfortable. So the answer to that is buying some sliders, some sliding rails. Um, so what I'll do is I'll order those and future Edwin will pick this video up so hello it's future Edwin the one from the beginning of the video and the one that's carrying on from the idiot that was trying to fit the seats before with no sliders we have the sliders I fitted one to this so this this kind of unit is, is ready to go in the car now um, for those of you wondering who have a 182 that uh, would like to copy this setup it's a VVD subframe on a Sabel set of sliders on a eBay set of side rails because eBay that's how we do eBay Motors please sponsor us um, and then the Kovin Nagara so it's very late and I should not be doing this out in the cold but we're going to test fit this so we'll go out and jack the car off and stick it on see what it looks like <laughs> oh no that's a <laughs> terrible shot for them that is an unfortunate, I'm very sorry about that, that you have to see that. Are you done yet? I should clean it under there, but this is just a test fit. It'll come out again, so don't shout at me. Ow, wait, ow, my arm's trapped. There we go. I believe that to be the correct location. Ooh, it looks good. We're not very professional. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a Monday night at nine and we're changing the seats on a Renault Clio in the outdoors with a phone light and some Halfords hardware. Probably not what people think of professionalism when they think of CT, but hey, you got to get it done. So behind the camera is Will. He used to work for CT, he left CT, he's a traitor. Yeah. Um, Abandoned. But, just a quick intro to your car, because Will actually has a cool car. Well, introduce yourself. I'm Will, I'm the traitor, previously mentioned by Edwin. Um, and this is the M3 that I now can't afford to run because I don't work at CT Yeah, because you don't have a job anymore. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but, well. but, the eagle-eyed viewers, even in this low light, can see, if those are original to this car, that means something that it's not normal. It's a competition pack. Which <laughs> Say it with me kids at home. <laughs> um, one, which means nothing other than it looks better. Yes. Yeah. Well, well you got what? Carbon? You get carbon roof. You no, get. Carbon roof is standard. You get, oh, yeah, because it's a UK car. You get the wheels. You get some stock lows. Yeah, a little bit lows. Um, and But you get a name. Competition package. It you get a name. Than, it's, yeah. This one's Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's a good sound as well. That's the main thing. 113,000 fine miles. Good, as cars should be, they should be used. What is the, what is the plan? Uh, well, Potentially. Sell it, sell it or? Sell it and buy? Sell it and, I don't know, what did I say? What do you mean, what did you say? I said either a VX220. Right. Or if I get a job, CT. <laughs> <laughs> um, it'd be good to get like an R8 V8. Ooh. A manual one, I think, would be like the perfect upgrade from this. But let's say you sold this. What would you get in the in intermediate? Yes, we love it. What, we selling? No. No, we, we can't. We can't. We can't sell that because we need to. Rolling. I think that 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 word is probably the thing that's said most, other than um, which I say a lot, is right. Right. At the beginning of every single clip is right. So what we're gonna do here? Every early two thousands men and motors. I think it's also got a British thing. Yeah. 
Right. It's slap knee. Yeah. Right then. Right. Right. We're off then. Right. Should we? Uh, should we head off? Should we head off? Should we hit the road? <laughs> People from other countries watching. What? What, what are you talking fuck? about? Why does he keep saying a direction? What is right? Rechts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. That is. That's an Edwin driving position right there. Have a seat. Oh, that's actually really easy to get in and out of. It's rather easy to get in and out of, you know. But they're so easy to get in and out of, you know. Oh, that's that's too far back for me. That's great. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's the mother. In. As as far as I'm aware, and as far as who I've spoken to about this, this is the first time someone's trying to put Nagaras in here so people weren't too sure if it would fit but that's fine there oh look at the clearance at fully back on on the slider it was meant to be it really was meant to be and look how good they look I'm very happy with this a hundred percent feels offset listen don't don't look, rip I'm, into my car like this I'm sitting dead straight that wheel is straight. That Renault Sport badge is noticeably closer to my left Stop. leg. Stop. Leave it alone, man. I'm but happy. No, yeah, it's, it's I, I agree. So the seat does, because it's for very long people, the subframe, it brings it, sits it down further than the standard rails, but brings it across a bit. So you're Stop sitting further. So yeah, like, yeah, so that you're so you can see round, so you're further to the yeah, curve, which yeah. is better for overtakes. So you can see. <laughs> you can pop your head out the window. Excuse side, me. Yeah. Do you mind if I just? <laughs> do you mind if I just get around you? Cheers. <laughs> if I just clip this apex. <laughs> <laughs> it leans out of the window to clip Apex. Oh yes! Oh, these are so much nicer. All all Clios feel really tall, which is not good for me, who yeah. is already far too long. This wheel. Yeah, the wheel needs to go. Um, the problem is, I was thinking of doing a one uh, a one nine seven or two hundred wheel, which is the generation after this Clio. But the problem is, they're the same um, same diameter, so it's essentially trading wide for wide. So you need to go off the market. So I need to go off the market, which I don't like. Well, I do like off the market, but. But is a, I prefer there's a fine like an line OEM between, looking. Yeah, the fine line between chintz and. Because I think good. this, these seats make it like you'd. My mum could walk past it and go, eh, they just look like seat like seats. They look like seats. Hey, those yeah. look, hey, I'm pretty. I know a seat there. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I a know seat, seats. I know a seat from a stool, and I'm those telling you, seats. those are seats. But overall, very happy. This car been, is coming together. It is. V V cool. I have to do another um, clip of. The, yeah. Oh, you need to uh, boot polish. Boot polish, or what's the other one? Brasso. I don't know what that is. That's boot polish. Oh, right. <laughs> I wasn't talking brands. Jesus. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> other other brands are available. Um, boot polish or it was something else. Toothpaste. Oh uh, yeah, toothpaste. It does headlights and seatbelts. <laughs> yeah, that it's also very dirty. Also, toothpaste on your Alcantara does a minty fresh finish. <laughs> We will end on that. There it is, the transformation on my little Clio 182 is done. Um, I've been absolutely loving hooning this car about. It is just a ball of fun. Um, I know that to Americans and people from elsewhere in the world that might not really understand that car, you guys have got wide roads and massively long straights. Something like that doesn't make sense in your country and that's fair enough, I agree. But here, out in the middle of the countryside where there's BNC roads, and twisty tight little hairpins and greasy roads, a five or six hundred horsepower car just doesn't make sense. Even the Turbo MX-5 will get you into a lot of trouble. 
That car, the 182, you can drive at 10 tenths without getting into, you know, staying within the law pretty much. All, sorry, always, always stay within the law. Um, and you can just have fun with it. Now, there's things that still need to be done in the car. I still need to stick the other Cobra seat in. I wanna rebuild the gearbox. Uh, I might wanna take the rear seats out and just make a nice big boot. But that stuff I can all do little bits over time. I wanted to get this episode out for you guys kind of quickly so that you weren't waiting too far in between each episode. On that point, it's worth noting, please remember that we're doing this in our own time with our own money and our own cars. Um, and we're editing the episodes kind of in lunch breaks and after work. So bear with us if it's a little bit slow. Um, also, right now, the UK is in lockdown again. So filming with each other is quite hard to do. Uh, that's why a lot of the kind of content in this episode was just me working alone on the 182. It's better when there's other people. I agree. Uh, I wouldn't want to watch 20 minutes of me doing anything either. Um, but once lockdown kind of relaxes a bit, we'll definitely do stuff together again. Um, my first thing that I want to do is head over to Jack's house and bully him into finishing his turbo MX-5 so that we can both have turbo broken MX-5s because there's no such thing as a working turbo MX-5. Um, he's been chipping away at it little by little over the year, last year, and I want him to finish it now, so I'm going to go over and we'll, we'll bully him into doing some stuff. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think of these episodes. We don't know if you're liking them or not, if you don't tell us things to improve on. So if you you know if you think this dickhead talking for 15 minutes, cut that, we'll cut that in the next one. So just let us know what you think. I don't really know how to end these episodes. Um, I guess I'll just cut in the middle of my sentence.